What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So, How to Style is back. I'm so excited. Um, we've been brainstorming ideas for the whole month. We've got lots of good style videos, whether it be how to style or just like, you know, outfit ideas, outfit inspiration. A lot of you guys are like, where have the how to styles been? Why aren't you doing style videos anymore? Um, really, we were just traveling so much during the summertime, seeing family, and it's... <laughs> I, I moved Stella because she was like annoyed that I was in her presence speaking while she was trying to take a nap. Put a timestamp in the description box if you guys just want to jump straight to the lookbook if you don't care what I have to say. We got some really, really great outfit um, ideas, video ideas from you guys. So thank you for your input on Insta stories. The layout of how to style is going to be the same. I'm going to do the talk through first, but I'm always going to put a timestamp of when the lookbook starts because some of you are like, stop talking, I don't care, I just want to see the outfits. And a lot of you take a lot away from the talk through. So I want to please both areas. Those of you who like the talk throughs, you know, it, it's just kind of me describing what the outfit is, where else I would wear it to. So if you're interested in a certain piece, um, walk to the talk through so you can kind of get a feel for what it looks like up close and all of that. Another point that I want to make is I am trying to incorporate office wear ideas into every lookbook. So in this lookbook, I have two office wear ideas. So with that being said, I think I'm done jabbing for now. Jabbing? Jabbering? I'll go ahead and start um, showing you guys the outfits. So for this outfit, I started with this camel sweater from Zara, which is really nice. I bought it in this camel color and I bought it in navy as well. Really good material, it's lightweight, um, it's got a tiny bit of a bat wing. It's not super long. It's short enough to where you can tuck it in the front and still have a little leftover in the back. This would be just a really great sweater for the office. If you wanted to, you could layer a white button down underneath and just wear it with some trousers thin enough to where you can layer it. I like bought these in the spring, but ended up not wearing them through summer because they are so thick. It's a little warm every time I would try to put them on. So they're perfect for that fall, winter white. The tie was just a little too much. So I tied it and then just kind of tucked the excess in the back um, just so they wouldn't show. They're great for work. Even if you want to do like a nicer blouse with it, you don't have to do a sweater. You could do um, a button down blouse. I think black is nice. Any kind of print is nice. These are great. They're not see-through, which is Awesome. Candy lines at the office are not cute. These Mark Fisher lace-up loafers from Nordstrom Rack. And I love these. I think they're so nice for the office. They're pointy-toed, they're nice and structured. They're this really nice matte finish. Absolutely love these for the office and for just casual. I mean, if you want to do shorts, jeans, culottes, I think these are great. To tie in the shoes and the pants, I did this pearl embellished bag, and this is actually from Topshop. I get so many compliments on this bag. I even wore it in Topshop, and some girl who worked there was like, oh my god, I love your bag. I was like, it's from here. She was like, what? I ordered it online. I don't even know if they have it in stores, but I just thought that this was a really good find, especially for Topshop. I think this was like $50, so I've been wearing this a lot when I want a statement bag, a little bit of textured, but still that structured look that uh, I'm going for. Here, crying at the door. Yeah, now you want to come in. So for my first casual look, I did this sweater from Urban Outfitters. It is a super cropped in the front sweater, but then is a little bit longer in the back. But it definitely has that curved hem at the top. Remember when I ordered this online? I got it in. I looked at it, and I was like, "Where does your boob go? Like, what? It's such a small space." Love the over. Oop. I love the oversized sleeve. This is just like the perfect little cropped sweater. When you are doing a cropped, chunky sweater, I always recommend doing a high-waisted paper bag pant or a high-waisted denim, just so you're not showing so much midriff. If that's your thing, go ahead and do it. Um, for me, I like to cover, I like to make up for what I'm showing. So if I'm doing a crop top, I'm gonna do um, more of a baggy style, high-waisted jean or bottom, um, on the bottom. Bottom on the bottom. Bottom on the bottom. Bottom on the bottom. I did these from Zara. It's like this olive green, 
obsessed with these. I love them. They're so comfortable. Uh, they will not get you through winter. They're pretty thin, but for fall, those sunny fall days, I think these are perfect. I'm drawn to this color. I think it's great for fall with when you're wanting to do creams or grays even. I think this is a great color. I did my studded booties. And for those of you guys asking on Insta stories, these are not the Chloe Susannas. They're actually from Jessica Berman. And this was a really good find for me. I've been wanting the, Ber the Chloe's for so long, but they're just, I, I don't know, I just couldn't spend $1,200 on them. When, when I have these sitting right in front of my face, I'm like, oh, how do I not spend just $150 and get these? Especially living in New York, um, my shoes get so torn up, they get so dirty. Um, I step in the gross, like, this is perfect for me in New York. I don't know what bag I used for that outfit. Um, sorry, link it below when I go back and watch the video. So for my next work wear, my office wear outfit, um, I did this sweater from Topshop. And this is just like the most perfect little cropped um, mock neck sweater. I was complaining though because I was getting ready to film and Jenna and Ryan were like, talking about something and I was like guys I am in a January sweater right now I'm sweating we have to go film it's very warm it's very thick it is um it was hot yesterday it was like I think 78 like 80 degrees so I was a little toasty in this but if you are looking for a cold weather um cropped sweater this is your guy right here one of those sweaters that you can wear it's bulky but yet you're not drowning in material um it's got a good shape to it you can see your body so and it's good to wear to work, so I love this. For my bottom, bottom. I did this gray asymmetrical um, skirt from Topshop, and I love it because I love anything like t-shirt, sweatshirt material. Just makes me kind of feel like I'm wearing sweatpants, but I'm not. Uh, I love the color. I think this is so cute with even just like a graphic tee and booties when you're just wanting to casually wear it. Or obviously you can wear it to work with the black sweater I showed you guys or even like a blouse and a blazer. I really like things like this that you can kind of mix for different occasions. I had to keep it simple with my shoe because my sweater was so bulky and then the asymmetrical. So I just did my trusty Alice and Olivia Cameron booties that I pretty much live in. They're so comfortable and um, if you're looking for a good work booty, these are a great investment. They will take you through the whole day without your feet absolutely aching all day. This little bag, obviously not practical for work because you cannot fit your laptop or any any iPads or anything in it. You are one of those people that, you know, all your stuff is at the office. This is a really cute bag with it. And I, I love this bag. I like the different textures. I like the gunmetal hardware. This is really great. I love this. I carry it a lot. My last outfit I did. This is an oldie but goodie. Where is this from? Forever 21. I, I remember finding this on the floor. It's a size medium, so it's a little big, but I remember I found it on the floor and I was like, oh, you're coming home with me. <laughs> you're so great. It's long, it's oversized. I wear this when I'm lounging around the house. I wear it when I go out to run errands. So this is a good, just like throw on sweater. Mock neck, just like I like it. I'm styling like a basic black sweater. I always like to do something fun on the bottom. I'm sure you guys have noticed that. Either a fun bottom or a fun shoe, a fun bag, just to make your outfit a little bit more interesting. Um, really like step up the style, the style factor. <laughs> Hashtag style factor of your outfit. So I did these red coated jeans from Zara. These are probably my most favorite thing that I own right now. I'm obsessed with these. They are the nice and coated material from Zara. Um, I have to be careful when I wash these. I wash them on gentle in a bag because I have noticed my coated jeans from Zara in the past or even my J brand ones, the coating kind of wears off over time. But they're a little bit of a flare, which is really cool. And they've got this really nice zipper detail on the front of the ankle. So I love these. Can you tell? <laughs> not super high-waisted. I love my jeans high-waisted and these are really not, but that's okay because I love them that much. Really like an oversized long sweater with a flare. I just think it makes your, you have like an hourglass shape. Well, actually not because it's <laughs> like a wavy shape. If you do a cropped flare, if you do a long flare, I think that's probably my favorite style to wear an oversized sweater. Not accessories. I did my little loafers from Zara. I've had these forever. Um, just because I wanted a 
just plain black shoe, no hardware because of the hardware so close to my foot on the jeans. I just wanted to go kind of basic with my shoe. I did my Baker Boy hat because I felt like my head needed something. I don't know, I feel like I needed another black thing up here. I don't know, it just looked right when I put it on, so I kept it on. For my bag to tie in the gold hardware on the jeans, I did my little um, Melly, yeah, Melly Bianco bag from Free People. Cute little guy. He didn't, he didn't hold very much, but he sure is cute. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this How to Style, and I hope you enjoy the future coming of the How to Style. I'm so glad the series is back. It's so much fun to create outfits and style them, and especially from your suggestions. Otherwise, I'd be lost. I'd be like, what do I do? But you guys tell me what you want to see, and that's really cool. So if you have any other ideas, comment below. Yeah, so I'm going to go into the, the Life by Her lookbook spiel because... Why not? We now have an app, which is so cool, the Life by Her app. Um, it's obviously exclusive to people who hold the lookbook. Um, anybody in the, US, in the US, anybody outside of the US can join, it's worldwide. You get like a really cool lookbook each month sent straight to your app and shopping links, uh, YouTube videos come with it, inspiration photos, um, a Facebook community, all of the good stuff. Team, my Life by Her team has been working on, you know, it's really cool. I suggest you at least check it out. Um, the link will be here as well as below in the description box. So. Go check it out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to um, email us. I'll put everyone's email at the bottom. You can email Ryan, myself, or Jenna. I will get back to you if you have questions, but everything should be pretty much answered through the site. Uh, I'm launching uh, my t-shirt, all my t-shirts, and you get um, discount code, promo code for all of the merchandise, and um, you get like VIP early access to all of that as well. So, Alright, so I'm going to stop talking now so you can enjoy the lookbook. I really hope you guys like it. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the How to Style comeback in the comments below. I love you all. Thank you for your feedback and telling me how much you miss the style videos. It inspires me to create more. So, so enjoy the lookbook and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Me and you, mimosa. Drink it up, drink it up. Sip and pull you closer. Like these waves in my cup. Travel far from over. Cause I can't get enough. Come on in the water's fine. If you take the first step, oh, no, you'll find that the tide is getting high. But I'm holding you so tight. So you can sway with the palms and the pines while you sing to the sky. Get a breath of the fresh air. Just you and I in the back of your mind. Or you can dance in the sand with the drink in your hand. But baby, I'm all set and we lie. Cause loving you is paradise. Wanna feel you again Faded conversation Only place I exist Come on and know what is fine yeah. If you take the first step Oh, no, you'll find That the tide is getting high But I'm holding you so tight So You can sway with the palms and the pines While you sing to the sky Get a breath of the fresh air Just you and I In the back of your mind Wanna feel you again Faded conversation Only place I exist Come on and know what is fine yeah. If you take the first step Oh, no, you'll find The 
the tide is getting high But I'm holding you so tight So You can sway with the palms and the pines While you sing to the sky Get a breath of the fresh air Just you and I In the back of your mind Or you can dance in the sand With the drink in your hand But baby, I'm all set in So paradise is loving you is paradise so paradise before I put on my foundation I'm gonna use my origins uh, matte moisture